All day today, we've been bringing you Alabama ghost stories. This evening, we're taking you to Huntington College. It's often voted one of the most haunted college campuses in the whole country, but its most known ghost, the Red Lady, isn't the only spirit that lingers on the grounds. That's creepy enough, isn't it? New at 6 tonight, CBS 42's Malik Rankin takes us inside the campus with some incidents that have no explanation. One of Huntington College's ghosts resides here at Houghton Memorial Library. He's one of the campus's more mysterious ghosts because he has no backstory, but encounters with him date back for decades. Houghton Library is nearly 100 years old. Students and staff have had inexplicable interactions at the library since the 80s. Who is he really? I mean, you know, where, you know, what's his origin story? You know nothing about Frank, how Frank came to be Frank. Eric Kidwell has been working at this library for 35 years, and in that time, he's heard story after story of run ins with Frank. Doors that were closed mysteriously found reopened. The doors in the original part of the library are solid oak doors. They are heavy. A draft is not going to move a door. Books falling off the shelf or items that were put away found misplaced moments later. That same book was back out and open. Kidwell says it's here on the top floor, up a slim, winding staircase that Frank spends most of his time. Whenever I'm alone up on the top floor, I always feel like I'm being watched, and I feel like an aura in the building, but I never actually see anything there. While Frank is known for his harmless haunting, his presence might stay with you after you leave. It's really scary kind of walking in the middle of the night from the library to your dorm when you're alone. You never know if someone's going to pop out at you, but you always feel like you're being watched. Kidwell says that people often ask him if he'd bring in a paranormal investigator, but he says it's the mystery that makes it magical. You know, I enjoy the uncertainty. College students have 24 7 access to the library, and the director says if you're looking to run into Frank, the best time to do it is at night alone. In Montgomery, I'm Malik Rankin, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.